So the title of my project is The Difference in the Heart. And this experiment was about finding out how exercise affects the heart and what effect it has on the heart rate. And some things to know about the heart is that it's the strongest muscle in the body and that it passes blood throughout the body like oxygen, oxygenated blood and it passes it through, through the lungs and it has four structures and one of the structure is the upper chamber which is called the atria and the atria pumps blood throughout the body. Is there a picture of a heart here? I'm sorry, I'm not seeing it. Um, no, there's not a picture okay. of a heart. Keep going. And the lower atrium also pumps blood through the body except that except the fact that it, is that it's oxygenated. Okay. Oxygenated blood. Um, the data that I got from this was that... Talk to me a little bit more about your literature. What other things did you um, explore prior to the experiment? And I've done this with everybody, everybody so it's not, okay. you're not doing anything wrong. Um, so what are some other research questions that you answered? Oh. Uh, the project's right there. Um, the purpose of solving this was to test the heart rates before and after exercise. What exercise did you choose to use? I chose to do running in place. Okay. Did you do any research on running or the effect of running on your heart? I didn't, but I know that running increases your heart rate. Okay. And I know that it does that because the body has to pump more blood. Mm -hmm. And um, has, it has to pump faster to get more blood throughout the body and oxygen, mm -hmm. which is why it beats faster when you exercise. And, uh, awesome. Talk to me about what your hypothesis was. Uh, what, 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 who did you think or how much did you think? What was a measurable hypothesis that you had? My hypothesis was that exercise would increase the heart rate. By what percentage or by what amount? By at least 10 beats okay. per minute. 10, by 10 beats per minute, and that was yeah. in your hypothesis. Okay, cool. Um, what was a uh, procedure of gathering this data? How did you gather data? For, like if I was going to be one of your test subjects, what would I go through? Okay, so the first thing I did was I used my test scope and the timer to time the um, number of heart rates for a minute, and so after that, um, and what were you using a timer? I used a, a timer, a stopwatch. Okay. Sorry. Um, so I did that, and then whoever I was testing would run in place for five minutes, and then after that they would rest, and then I would take the heart rate afterwards with the timer and the system, the system scope, mm -hmm. and then I would count their heart rates. Okay. And how many people did you test on? I tested two. Two people? Yeah. Okay. Uh, talk to me about the te uh, about the data you got. The data I got was that the first person I tested, which was my dad, Daryl, his heart rate, beginning heart rate was 71, and then after he exercised, it went up to 81, and my mom, which was testing her, beginning heart rate was 53, mm -hmm. and after she exercised, it was 86, so I can conclude that after exercising, her heart rates did go up. Okay. Um, what were some problems that you had in doing this experiment? Um, some of the problems was that it was kind of hard to count the number of heart rates, or like to get in like heartbeats, so I have to wait a little bit. What do you mean wait a little bit? Well, because I did the heartbeats on their neck, mm -hmm. and so I'll have to wait until I felt the heartbeats to start counting. Got it. So you felt that could have been some of your scientific yeah. error? Okay. Anything else that was uh, difficult? Um, no, that was it. Okay. Talk to me about uh, future research. If you were going to take this experiment, and I told you you have to build another science experiment based on your first one, what might you do? I would do is I would test more people just to make sure to have more data and more differences and I would do different exercises just to see how like different exercises affect the heart rate in different ways. Okay. Talk to me about um, the data, so the data collection. You saw quite a bit of an increase in it. Did it make any judgments as far as is exercise good for you or bad for you in regards to increasing the heart rate? Um, I would say that Talk to me about how this connects to other things you might be interested in studying in the future. Uh, 
This will connect to I see some of my interests in the medical field. Please continue on that. Well, because I know that the heart, like in anatomy, it has to do with the heart. So mm -hmm. I will be studying the heart and how that works and the other organs in the body and what type of things affect the heart positively and negatively. What are some um, things that, based on this project, you would want to know more about that you do for future research? Um, I would, mm -hmm. I mean, you already talked about doing more, doing tests on more kids, but, um, or more people, but talk about maybe age, I, I'm just curious, like if I said you have to use this experiment and do more research all next year and represent this science fair, what are some things you would test? I would test. Yeah, I would test different ages. Mm -hmm. I know that like younger people, their bodies are different from older people. Absolutely. So I would do that too. Um, I would I would test people that have heart problems, but you know, just to see like the results. Sure. I would test that. Um, I would. I would test like people that are more physically active and then people that aren't. Good. So, like, now you had talked about doing that at the early in your experiment. How come you didn't? Well, because I figured that doing it to people would be better. Okay. Like, just to see. And one was male and one was female, so that was really yeah. there was no control group in this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. What were some of the conclusions you got from this? What did you learn? Maybe, maybe that's a better way of asking you. What is something you learned that you didn't know before you started this project? Um, well, I learned how the heart, when you exercise how it affects your body positively, mm -hmm. and how it, um, um, that's fine. I guess how it affects people differently. Yeah, because like there was a huge difference. Um, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about your graph then, maybe that, okay. that so the line graph. Yeah, what did you yeah. see that was different? So they both exercised for the same amount of time, huh? Mm -hmm. What was different was that? Guinea pig. Mm -hmm. What was different was that my mom's heart rate, her beginning, it was slower than my dad's. And, and neither of them have any health issues, neither of them have any? Well, my dad has high blood pressure. Oh, okay. Um, my mom didn't have any so that may have also been something different because high blood pressure means he started at a higher heart rate, right? Yeah, which is why his was higher than my mom. And did he increase significantly more as well? He increased, but he didn't increase as much as my mom did. And which one of them do you feel is more physically active based on the data that you collected? Um, I think my mom. So that oh. might be something for future is maybe a, a survey? you know, about their physical fitness, and then putting people who have similar physical fitness regimes. Because you've talked to me before, your dad walks quite a bit. Yeah. And Tammy, we know she's walking all over the place. So maybe yeah. we could have started with a pedometer, mm -hmm. figured out how many steps per day each of them takes naturally, yeah. and then maybe put them in groups like, these are people who do 2,000 steps per day, and these are people who do 5,000 steps per day, mm -hmm. then test it. Because that's kind of natural exercise, and then it would have been... I think a little more, and I think definitely more people, because I thought we had talked about you doing at least 10 people, but it sounds like, um, what was the problem with not getting more people? Just um, run out of time, was, or? Yeah, it was kind of hard to, like, get certain people, because they were busy, and I was busy, so it kind of just came down to who was easier to test and win, so. Got it. Alrighty, then. Thank you very much, my dear. Much appreciated. Awesome.